Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. For today's project, I have taken 2 meter brocade fabric. And this is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. Firstly, I'll cut the bodies. And for that, I have cut out the required length that is 14.5 inch, including 1 inch of seam allowance from the fabric. And I have folded the fabric twice in width. So I have four layers of fabric here. Now I'll mark the measurements. For shoulder, take half of shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch. So half of it is 6.75 inch. Neck width is 4.5 inch. As I'm making boat neck. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point, mark half of armhole round that is 7 inch in my measurement. I'll just extend this line. Mark one inch inwards and again join it to the shoulder slope point from the top mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to burst point and 14.5 inch shoulder to waist and the length of top as well now i'll mark the round measurements for chest, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, chest round is 31 inch. 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.25 inch. For burst, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst round is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, again, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist round is 27 inch and 27 plus 3 is 30 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.5 inch. Join these points. Give slight curve to this pointed shape. Adding seam allowance. Now I'll draw front and back armhole curve. Neck depth is 3.5 inch including half inch of seam allowance. Again mark neck width point that is 4.5 inch and join these points. Now I'll draw board shape. So this is a marking for bodies. Now I'll cut it. To cut the front armhole curve, just separate the back. Fold the front again. Now I'll cut the front armhole curve. So I have cut front and back bodies. Now I'll cut the bottom. I'm making a line bottom and for that I folded the fabric by half in length and then in width this is on fold from the top side and from this side now length of bottom will be full length of kurti minus body's length in my measurement full length of kurti is 42 inch and body's length is 14 inch 
so 42 minus 14 is 28 I'll add around 1.5 inch or 2 inch of seam allowance so I'll take the length from the bottom side and I'll mark a point at 30 inch this is on fold from the top side so I'll be able to cut sleeves from this part I'm making elbow sleeves and this is around 6.25 inch and sleeve length is 11 inch so I'll get sleeves from this side and just extend this line this will be the waist so from waistline mark 7 inch downwards this is hip line I'll mark the same waist measurement as I've marked on the bodies that is 7.5 inch and for hip I'm adding 4 inch of ease in my measurement hip round is 38 inch 38 plus 4 is 42 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 10.5 inch Now join waist through hip till the bottom. Adding seam allowance. So this is the bottom, now I'll cut it. So I have cut it. Now measure hip to bottom. This is 23 inch. Mark the same measurement on this side. Now join it to the bottom round with a slight curve. And cut it. So I've cut the bottom, now I'll cut the sleeves. Now to cut the sleeves, I'll just separate this part. I'll just iron it. Fold it twice in width. So this is around 12.5 inch and just mark the sleeve length and from the top mark a point at 3.5 inch cap height and armhole width or cap width will be chest round divided by 4 minus 1 inch in my measurement chest round is 32 inch and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8 and 8 minus 1 is 7 so I'll mark a point at 7 inch join these points measure this line and divide it into three parts this is around 8 inch so I'll mark a point at 2.6 inch twice From this point mark half inch upwards and from this point mark half inch upwards and 0.25 inch downwards 
Now I'll draw front and back armhole curve. Now mark half of sleeve round. So sleeve round is 11.5 inch and half of it will be 5.75 inch. Join these points with curve ruler to give slight shape. Adding seam allowance. So this is a marking for sleeve. Now I'll cut it. Take only top two layers to cut front armhole. So I've cut the sleeves and with this cutting off kurti is complete. I'll share its stitching in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.